श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा श्री कृष्णा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव नम प्रबोध सुधाकर इन दिस प्रबोध मीन्स वेरी सटल डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस द सुधाकर इज अमृतम एम्ब्रोशिया सो द डायरेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ब्लिस हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल द फर्स्ट वी वर टोल्ड अबाउट द बॉडी 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 unless we take this as a important project of spiritual life all that we are doing is just a wastage of time only this much what it is like being other than body one aspect second aspect when i consider myself to be body then what happens there after only we become somebody mother father brother sister etc and these non existing entities we take them as real and the whole life is spent only in that delusion god also cannot help us our condition is like the bird looking into the mirror looking at the reflection and suffering so there is no problem with the mirror or the reflection the problem is what you take that reflection as if you take it as real you suffer if you recognize the illusion as an illusion is the only way to get out of the impact of illusion there is no other way okay. but the whole life goes only in this dumb approach okay. husband wants to please the wife wife wants to please the husband the children are ram 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 get out of that mess and the foundation for this mess is body identification <clears throat> therefore nobody can help us in life other than ourselves and the help is in terms of proper understanding wrong notions are not replaced by right notions see all other paths if you take path of yoga karma upasana they are only telling us to replace our notions notion replacement is not spiritual life like earlier i was very lazy one notion since i started going to yoga now i am crazy so what we are doing that i is maintained with different makeup okay. but here we are told wrong notions have to be erased without creating new notions and it can be done only by right understanding okay. the moment you become disturbed think of me don't think of god have you seen god no you have seen me and remember this much that the one who is miserable does not exist our struggle is to improve 
the quality of the reflection in the dirty water. You can do nothing about it. Therefore, first topic was freedom from body identification. Then the second topic that was taken was Vishaya Ninda. When we are identified with the body, then only the worldly objects become valuable and meaningful. So, how do we know we are going in the right direction? Don't ask anybody. To the extent we are <coughs> withdrawn from body identification, to that extent our attraction toward the worldly things will be reduced. See? This is all. Nothing more. If the worldly things are attracting us a lot to such an extent that we become crazy and mad after it, then our body identification is extremely intense. Body, I mean the gross body. Then our subtle body identification is intense when we are carrying the burden of relations. Don't create problems out of relations. Relations cannot give you absolute happiness. They will give you relative happiness. And for that, now we take up the topic of the mind. Asati kadachi draudriti bhrantam sadrushodi shabhramati vrishtam kadapi rushtam shishtam drushtam chanindati stauti Kamapi dveshti sarosham yatmanam shlagate kadajidapi chittam pishacham avadra rakshaya trishnaya vyaptam. What are the contents of our mind? He is desire, desire, desire. This desire, understand, I will give you one example. If you understand this, it will be the easiest spiritual practice. I am not telling you to go to forest. I am not telling you to go to Himalayas. I am not telling you to do the yoga or chant the Lord's name. No. Very simple technique. Only by understanding. And this I have learnt which I am telling you. Once I was going around Narmadaji. Narvada Pradakshina. And uh, somewhere near one ashram, there is one ashram uh, near near Indore or somewhere. So when we are going, somewhere there was a lot of mud. So I had to take out my sandals, hold him and go through the mud. And some place the mud was very deep, maybe up to um, calf muscle deep or so. We somehow cross. And in that, some thorn has gone in. What can we do? So I passed on like that and washed my feet and I went to the place. Forgot about that. This is the benefit of forgetting. Then, after two days, I started limping. So my friend asked me, Swamiji, what happened? I said, I don't know. Maybe my style has changed. He said, no, there must be something wrong. I said, then what I do? You see, he happened to be a doctor. So he saw, he said, my God, there is small abscess growing there. I said, I did not sow any abscess seed there. He said, no, there is. Then he washed it, cleaned it, and took something and removed the thorn. A long thorn, almost one inch or little less, has entered. He removed it. Then he put something and then he said, now it will be all right. How it will recover? He said, you don't have to do anything. Tissues repair themselves. Now from this what I have learned is birth of a desire. When a foreign body 
enters the tissue, the tissue starts reacting. And the reaction leads to formation of a tender area, uh, a bulge, color, red coloration, and pain. Where it has come? From the tissue reaction. When you remove the foreign body, reaction dies slowly. You don't have to do anything. Apply this understanding in your day-to-day -day life. Mind is also a tissue. When any foreign body enters the mind, there is an abscess on the mind. That abscess on the mind is called as a thought. And in the womb of the thought is that foreign body. And that is why every thought is an abscess on our mind. What is an abscess? Swollen, painful. What is the solution? Remove the foreign body. Are we not doing it every day? Just learn from your every single experience. Don't require anything outside. See? So what is the foreign body? Morning, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, I want a cup of tea. I want a cup of tea. Foreign body has entered. Then, abscess is formed. And when I get a cup of tea, foreign body is removed. Ah, are dumbo. Can't we learn from our own experiences? It is easy to understand a thorn going in the foot. But how the things go in the mind? Things go in the mind as we enter the mirror in the form of a reflection. How the things enter in the mirror? It is an entry without entrance. Understand this thing. So, the things enter in our mind when we give importance to anything in life. You get thoughts about your wife, your children, your neighbor, your business. Do you get thoughts about what happened in Honolulu? Because you are not giving any importance to that. But if I have given importance to something, I am responsible for devalue that. And see, the importance could be for anything. Importance for cleanliness. You will be most miserable. Because such people, wherever they go, they will see only dirt. See, friends. So what will be the real spiritual practice? Devalue everything in life. Na kuch paana, na kuch khona. How simple it is. We give importance to, I give importance to my wife, I will be disturbed. Give importance to children, I will be disturbed. Give importance to the neighbor, you will be disturbed. And when we sleep, what we do? We delete everything. See? Therefore, one small experiment to understand this. Whichever way you are sitting is perfect. Don't change your posture. No, 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 no need. Become husband or wife and start thinking.
come become parents or children and start thinking stop now remain as nobody and think over the analyze or all the three options become husband or wife if you have become husband <coughs> thoughts will be about wife if you have become wife thoughts will be about husband when you become parents thoughts about the children when you become a child thoughts about the parents but when you remain as nobody no thoughts so a man becomes husband when importance to the wife enters in his mind and there is a abscess and that abscess is on the mind of your husband learn this thing when we recognize this you will come to know anything in this world you give importance you will be disturbed for example you give importance to punctuality you will be throat left disturbed somebody or the other will come late <laughs> you give importance to cleanliness even if you go to heaven there you will see dirt gadu laga how important it is my friends if we have given importance to something or somebody we have to devalue that so what is the devaluation is no entry for a foreign body in our mind the things enter our mind when we give any value to anything in this world friends the net result is you are at peace and for that our mahamantra kya farak padta hai this thing you change your complete life there was a place in mumbai is a multiplex spiritual center five stories my talk used to be on the fifth story fifth floor that day whatever may be the reason so the watchman told me swami ji your talk is on the ground floor i said okay so i was going there a trustee came why are you going there I said to see a movie. No, no, no. But your talks are on the fifth floor. I said your watchman told me to go there. Who is he? I said watchman. He's the trustee. No, no, no. It can't be there. I will see who can stop it. Trustee issue. See, most of the temples outside India, they are not God's temples. They are the trustee's temple. anywhere you go and then i said okay i'll take a glass of water and go no no take it up there soon one loses all sense then i said never mind so i went and sat and told that servant there hey get me a nice cup of tea so i was taking tea somebody came now what what are you doing i said i am doing kathakali Swami ji, why you talk like that? I said, when you see I am taking tea, what are you doing? Is it necessary? No, but they ask you just get up from there, and and um, you are not disturbed. I kept quiet. 
then he told a story. The other day, some Swamiji was having provocation and some big, big Swami came. And then he was requested, uh, Maharaj, if you just move a little bit, I will produce. He got so angry. He got up. I don't want to give a lecture and went away. And they have physically removed you from there. You are not disturbed. I said, my understanding is very simple. Do you think those who are sitting on the ground floor, they were listening? And those who will sit on the fifth floor, they will not listen? I know nobody listens. Relax. Why worry? Those who get disturbed because of others, on any count, they are the fools of the highest order. If a husband becomes miserable because of wife, he deserves. See, friends, this is only because of the simple principle. We are obsessed and we become somebody. And that becoming somebody creates a disease. That disease is Krishna desire. If you have no expectation of any kind from anybody, even God cannot disturb you because you have no expectation from God also. Jo dhari rai, so mari rai. See, friends. So, what is this mind does? Asati, sometimes very happy. Raudriti, sometimes is very miserable. Sometimes confused. And sometimes very much ha ha ho ho. And sometimes very well depressed, dejected, going into the... Then sometimes he is cruel, very cruel. And sometimes it is condemning everything. Sometimes very angry. Sometimes talking good about oneself and condemning others. In this manner, our mind is made to dance by this Rakshasi, Krishna. Krishna is unsatiating desire is called a Krishna. Therefore, such a mind is having all the problems of this. Therefore, try this mantra. Jo thari rai so mari rai. What is good for our uh, coming back to a healthy condition? The doctors know better. We are patients. But problem is we are Indians. When the Indian goes to the hospital, he tells the doctor, one day the injection is going to be very difficult. Let him decide. See? Let him decide. In the same manner, what is good for our evolution, he knows better. And therefore, do not entertain any desire means what? Whatever is due, Karnataka. So, Dambha Abhimana Lobhaihi Kama Krodha Uru Matsarai Chetaha Akrushyate Samantad Shavabhi Iva Patitastakam Marge. Like any dead animal or something is lying on the road, the dogs from all sides come and pull that dead body here and there. Exactly the same way. The dogs, Dambha, Abhiman, Lobha, Kama, Krodha, these are the dogs. And they keep on pulling the mind in different directions and make ourselves miserable. These are all the modifications of the same disease. Kama esha krodha esha rajoguna samudbhavaha maha asanaha maha papma vidhenam ihavairinam Fulfillment of desire. If you learn from that, you will not desire anything thereafter. What is the fulfillment of desire? Removal of the foreign body from the mind tissue. That's it. 
So, happiness is desire free mind. And misery is mind with desires. But our understanding is, I was unhappy when I didn't have a cup of tea. When I got a cup of tea, I was happy. Therefore, happiness came from tea. This is our understanding and it is wrong. <coughs> if happiness was the content of the tea, everybody should be happy with a cup of tea. But it doesn't happen. Like fire, the content is heat. Therefore, anybody touches the fire, he gets burnt. But then we can't negate our experience that when I get my cup of tea, I am happy. So where from the happiness comes? Inquire. You will come to know. Disturb mind with the desire is misery and a mind free from the desires is happiness. How simple it is. All the time. Go, 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 so, and therefore we are constantly taught. We are not relaxed at all. Don't do those things like Tratak or too much of yoga. Don't do anything too much. Learn to relax. Those who do Tratak, they are they, as if they bounce on us. If you see the two eyes, one that of Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi, there is a depth in his vision. When you look at him, you feel secured. See the other eyes, Osho. You see the Osho followers, many of them are good friends of mine, crazy. Too much of physical. Relax, man, relax. Look at my eyes. I am looking at something. Now, I am looking but not at something. So, Everything here is like a reflection on the mirror, but the mirror is not real. So, seeing is happening, but seer is not born. Not difficult. Once I was in Ahmedabad, recently also it happened, in somebody's house after morning lecture, we went for a breakfast. And there was one picture, nice frame, like the border of a sari, something like that, picture. So when I saw that, I looked at it, I said, hey, Shivji with a cobra on his head and a cobra encircling the, Shiv, the Shivalinga. So that old lady, she is not able to get up properly. She jumped. Swamiji, how can you see that? I said like this. I am trying to see that for last 10 years. They told it is there. I am not able to see. And you saw in a fraction of a second. There were two Kamandalus with me. I said, Kamandalu, you try. One week they are trying. How it happens? This simple technique. 
three dimensional pictures if you have to see you have to go to the third dimension and you can go to the third dimension if you can bypass the first dimension the second dimension then you go to the third dimension our life is multi dimensional who <laughs> beyond all dimension come back being therefore bhagwan ramana marshi was not observing maunam he has nothing to talk our maunam is with a paper and a pencil what is your name this happened in haridwar the road garbadanand where do you stay somewhere vrindavan where do you stay here in university when he was writing i was writing he was writing i was replying in written third time when i did i realized come on here i can talk <laughs> so why i was not talking and then i laughed when i laughed he also laughed he understood <laughs> then i spoke in maunam laughing is allowed <laughs> relax man relax spiritual life is not gambhira anandam what happened pata nahi yaar jab se realize ho gaya aisa hi ho gaya and this is all happened because damb abhiman lobh damb is hypocrisy we try to be goody goody therefore this goody goody people i don't like them at all See, relax we don't have to prove anything to anybody i am not like other and this goody goody people their goodness is in comparison to the weaknesses of others we are not like others waking up very late in the morning 10 o'clock we wake up at quarter to 10 we are not like others eating onion in the house we eat outside hey friends these hypocrites they are destroying their spiritual path damb abhiman similarly lobh greed has no end one example is given here that the snake has caught hold of a frog now it is already in the mouth of death but the frog is eating the insects <laughs> yeah how beautiful the picture is so आकृष्यते समंतार शवम इव पथिक सम मार्गे तस्मा शुभ शुद्ध विरागो मलि मन अभिलषित त्यजेत अर्थ तत्नभिलषित कुरिया निर्व्यार निर्व्यापार तथोवती तस्मा शुद्ध विराग मन अभिलषित तत्जेत अर्थ देर फोर त्यजेत अर्थ do not go on hanging on the things in this world don't have to throw everything don't have to put on the pathetic clothes why very you know, great dispassion no 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 i have everything perfect but don't get obsessed with anything otherwise many of us have got this notion simplicity means what and not putting proper clothes and all that why पता नहीं आज जब से रियलाइज हो गए ऐसे नो वी हैव टू लिव इन दिस सोसाइटी वी शुड लिव इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर बट एट द सेम टाइम नथिंग शुड बी एन ऑब्सेशन फॉर अस देर फोर अभिलषित त्यजेत अर्थम अर्थम इज द वर्ल्ड थिंग देन अनभिलषित कुरिया देन वेन यू आर फंक्शनिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड विदाउट एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन निर्व्यापारम तथो भवती माइंड रिमेन्स एब्सोल्यूटली एट पीस देर फोर संस्कृति पारावरे जगात विषयोदे संपूर्णे 
नृशरीरम तंबुतरण कर्म भी इतर ही स्तलती तो वी जस्टेड वी टोल्ड यू इफ ए बोट इज हैविंग होल्स देन विथ दैट बोट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रॉस यू कैन नेवर इन द सेम मैनर आवर लाइफ कैन नेवर बी अटेनिंग फुलफिलमेंट if the holes of our sense organs are not controlled not covered therefore is only by nirodhena therefore in uh, yoga shastra it is said yama niyama asan pranaya pratyahar pratyahar is ahara is eating pratyahar is not eating meaning Seeing is happening, but seer is not born. Experience is happening, but experiencer is not born. So why? When experiencer is born, there are two options. I like it. I don't like it. I want it. I don't want it. But if the experiencer is not born, then there is no desire. Friends. therefore we told you experience without experiencer is god man without wife rather husband without wife is man the for that does he have to um, divorce no then karnatak that's it so where is the husband apart from the man the more you work on this sincerely deeply you will never never get disturbed because of anybody in the world when person somewhere on some airport asked me youngster swami ji uh, you are moving around the world giving talks on everything but people don't change don't you feel bad about it i said i don't feel bad why i don't want them to change if they change where will i go do you know the prayers of the doctors sarve bhavantu rogina if everybody becomes healthy where the doctors will go same way sarve bhavantu ajnanina we survive on your ignorance so continue otherwise my market will go friends god has failed to change me that me the failure will change you he friends then why do you give talks around the year everywhere i am not talking to you i am addressing my mind whatever i am talking with the first audience me if my words do not influence me will they influence others and then we complain swami ji children don't listen to us so who are the children they are the victim of their mind who are you you are the victim of your mind two victims try to control each other are you rahul see friends learn 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 from your experience सिद्राणाम निरोधा सुखेन पारम परम नयति तस्मात इंद्रिय निग्रह मृते न कचिद अनृतम देर फोर वी हैव टू हैव परफेक्ट कंट्रोल ओवर आवर सेंस ऑर्गन्स देन पश्यति परस्य युवती सकाम अपि तन मनोरथम कुरुते सो दिस इज हाउ द माइंड सी द थिंग्स थिंग्स एंड बीइंग्स एंड गोज ऑन इमेजिनिंग a boy sees so many girls in the world but nothing happens but one particular girl when he sees then some kind of khichdi cooking goes on i am in this temple at this time and i was just thinking what to ask god that very time can a bell happen Is it a message of God? God has got better things to do than get your marriage fixed. 
But then the mind is constantly projecting, projecting. And that what is not is imagined to be real. Therefore, all these people who fall in love is only because of their foolishness. Instead of rising in love, they fall in love. When they fall, they get hurt. The hurting is called as marriage. Therefore, our uh, eyes are engaged in seeing the beautiful things and our ears are engaged in parasya nindam, shrunoti karnabhyam. When we hear something, somebody's shortcomings, we are very interested. Yes, yes, I also know. And Atma Shlagha, talking very good about oneself, this is how Kim Tena, here they said, Kim Tena Nakrutam Papam. The sin is this, looking at the world with a desirous eye, hearing the wrong things about the people and feeling good about it. Andrutam Parapavadam Rasana Vadati Pradikshanam Tena. The Ati Papa Bhag Bhavati. And our rasana, our mouth or the tongue is constantly talking para apavadam, the shortcomings of others. Who doesn't have shortcomings? Good things we hesitate to talk. Bad things, this is how in all the families this happens. Husband, wife, then in-laws, outlaws. They are very vocal when the shortcoming of the other person comes. But something good, they will, they are supposed to be like that. See, friend, this is how our tongue becomes completely a source of miseries to us and to others. Continuing further, Indriya, Vishaya Indriya Yoga, Nimesha Samaya Yasukam Bhavati, Vishaya Nashte Dukkam. Yava Jivam Tathor Madde. Therefore, when the objects and the sense organs come together for a short moment, Sukham Bhavati, after that, again we are miserable. So, we want to repeat. Be attentive. Therefore, happiness is happening only at the sense organs level. After that, it is over. Again, whom I learned from, your children. There was somewhere um, I was uh, taking food and one mother with her son, maybe about six years, seven years, he was going. I said, hey, Dumbo, come here. He came, sit with me. We'll eat together. So his mother said, okay, sit with Swamiji. Then I saw his attention was on the uh, Nimbuka achar, pickles. He was looking at that. And I could see that he likes it. I said, um, you like uh, um, uh, pickles you eat? Mommy doesn't say don't eat pickles. I said, now you are sitting with Swamiji. Mommy will not say anything. Okay. Really? Yes. He did not take little bit. He took the whole piece and put on his tongue. Thereafter, for next three hours, he did not talk anything, did not eat anything. Whatever you do, he will not say anything. He got stuck or what? Why don't you talk? After three hours, I said, I said, Mama, what happened to him? Then, she said, I, okay, I'll tickle him. Then he will open his mouth. He said, wait, wait. Then he kept that um, piece of uh, achar in his mouth. He said, he said, Swamiji, I thought you are intelligent. Then what happened? You tell me where the test happens. I said, in the tongue. Now if I swallow that, it will go away. My mother doesn't allow me to eat. I wanted to enjoy it more. So I kept it on the tongue. Food anyway, I eat always. So I am enjoying. How great it is. For us, when we like something, we eat more. When you like something, eat slowly. How simple things are there in life. 
in the same manner whatever joy we get through in contact with the sense organs it is only during the short period afterwards again we want to repeat it and thus this is the only thing we do that go on indulging and nothing else but if we become little cool then tayor madhe one experience is over it is a created joy out of indulgence thereafter there is nothing that experience where objectivity is nullified that is our essential nature objectless awareness do this experiment i'll see the mantra that is a sound sound is an object and then it will be followed by silence and in this we have to catch om namah shivaya om namah shivaya om namah shivaya you heard three times now focus attention on the silence not on the sounds Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Now what is this experience लय विक्षेपयो संधौ मनस्तत्र निरामिषम स संधि साधि येन स मुक्त नात्र संशय विक्षेप ओम नम शिवाय सेकंड विक्षेप ओम नम शिवाय इन बिट्वीन संधि इन बिट्वीन दिस टू साउंड्स इज साइलेंस सो absence of the sound became the object of awareness that which supports the absence is beyond presence and absence and when you feel oh some thoughts are making a crowd to come out okay again start firing with a your ak47 om namah shivaya om namah shivaya the lord's name is chanted only to keep the mind free from objective pursuit and then you will very clearly one day understand ध्येम उपाधेयम व प्रविचार्य सुनिश्चित तस्मा अल्पसुख से त्यागा अनलसुख जहाति सुधी अनलसुख जहाति दुख जहाति सुधी द मोर यू बिकम अवेयर ऑफ दिस चैंटिंग ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स नेम इज नॉट डन फॉर फुलफिलिंग अवर डिजायर्स इट इज नॉट डन एज ए पनिशमेंट करो जब करो थाउजेंड टाइम it is not a punishment we have to work on the mind when the cloth is dirty dirt is something coming out from outside on the cloth then what we do we apply soap soap is also a dirt then the first dirt is removed by the second dirt thereafter i spent so much money for purchasing this uh, very expensive detergent don't wash the detergent let it remain there for a dumbo 
first dirt is removed by the second dirt and second dirt is also to get out. Then the cloth is left with cleanliness. Exactly. Worldly thoughts is the dirt. It is removed by the detergent, Lord's name. Then what remains? Is thought free mind. I want this, I want that is a thought. Om Namah Om Namah is also a thought. Discover these friends within yourself. Then we don't have to go and ask, Swamiji, please tell me what sadhana should I do. You find out. So, heyam upadeyam va pravicharya sunishchitam. You have to decide what is heyam, what is upa, upadeyam. What should be rejected and what should be gained. You have to decide. Then you will come to know whatever we have given importance to, that is the source of misery for us. As much you become miserable because of your children, you don't become miserable because of somebody else's children. When it is somebody else's child doing something wrong, what we are, we are philosophers. These days, the children are like that. No, no, I am talking about your son. Oh, my son? Oh, immediately everything changes. Recognize that you Recognize this. We don't have to struggle to do anything. Dhivaradatta Mahavisha Ashna Vaisarino Mriyate See? How the fish is caught, we put in the hook some kind of bait and there is food. And what is the fish? She, the fish knows only one thing, eat. Open the wood. There are examples in Yoga Vashishta. Each animal dies because of weakness for one sense organ. We are weak for all the five sense organs. We should die five times. See? Therefore, uh, well, he, the example which I told you this Ugra uh, Grasta Ahi Makshik Ashata Shaha Vakshati. Therefore, the real spiritual practice is now we have to work on the mind. So, Sri Yodga. Gam tayo vaha sagar upayati nicha margena sa suyod gamaha eva stira sati kimnayati vadiktvam. The river begins from the origin and keep on moving, 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 ultimately ends in the ocean. It is a beautiful thought. If the river stops moving, the river itself is the ocean. recognize these two principles. One is principle of change. Second is principle of no change. Very simple, not difficult. Principle of change is applied to something which is finite. Principle of no change to something which is infinite. So infinity is space, finite is the remaining four. They are constantly changing. But this changing four elements cannot touch or influence the unchanging substratum, the space. So this is the principle. Now discover in yourself. See? Waking has come and gone, we are the same. Dream has come and gone, we are the same. Childhood has come and gone, we are the same. Teenage has come and gone, we are the same. We have not changed. Finite is associated with the change. 
infinite is not associated with any change. Words are finite. Silence is infinite. Therefore, this technique try. These techniques I got them when I am all by myself, anywhere. Make absence as an object of your experience. But absence is not an object. Can I tell somebody, hey, kindly give me one plate absence? Absence is not an object. Then how can we make absence as an object of knowledge? Absence of something. Now what is the world? World is only two things. Name and form. So absence of name or absence of form. So make absence of sounds or names as object of awareness. So Om Namah Shivaya, presence, followed by silence, absence of sound. And for this purpose, we told you a technique. Don't talk to yourself. Technique number one. When you are moving in the world, before we talk to anybody on any topic, ask a question to yourself. Is it necessary to talk? So you are heading towards absence of sounds. Then, third, listen to silence. These three practices, if you work. Number one, before you talk to others, ask a question. Is it necessary to talk? You are going beyond the words. Don't talk to yourself. Don't create words, sounds. Listen to silence. The sounds which are coming to us without our control, don't react to them. Make absence of sounds as object of your experience. Sounds are finite, repeated. Silence of sounds is infinite, unrepeated. If this is happening, then you can distinctly experience your asan has become firm at the base, vertically steady, your breathing has become extremely slow and shallow. Because now you are aware of absence of all changes. So, moving river dies in the ocean. The unmoving ocean never dies. Both the places, 
there is a movement of water. In case of the, the river, the movement of the waters in the river is a necessity and a struggle because there is no fulfillment. But in case of the ocean, there is a movement of water, but there is fulfillment. So ignorant people also move in this world for getting this and that. Wise people also move in this world not for getting this and that. In the first case, they are struggling to fulfill the desire. In the second case, life is a time pass. Na kuch pana, na kuch khona. If the river stops moving, she can't reach the destination. So here, so for the finite, it is a necessity to move. For the infinite, it is a fun to move. See, my friends, every experience in this world becomes our guru if we learn. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Guru Bhjona Maha Hari Om